into that. I could apply it out to this invoice this way uh, and apply it, apply, apply it out that way. This invoice wasn't there when we made the payment because we made the payment before the invoice. But it's probably easier to go back into this invoice and then say we want to apply the credit. So I'm going to apply the credit. Now it's applying out uh, that credit amount of 188.56, only 37.71 of it, leaving us the balance of 150.85 done. And this isn't going to record uh, anything new, but it gives us the information at the bottom here. So it still records the same thing. So I don't have to like go back and look at the financials again. It's still recording uh, accounts receivable increase 37.71. The, the sales increase 35 and the sales tax increase of 271, even though we're not actually charging anyone anything. This is just an informational thing at the bottom. And this is, of course, an invoice that we could give to somebody if we wanted to, to show the, 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 the subscription as it was passing uh, and, and as it you know, was up being applied out as we did the work, as the, as the months passed. Okay, so then let's do it again. So, so in this process, unlike the, the psychedelic surfboard deposit, uh, we're going to just keep doing the invoicing. This is like the classic book problem scenario for an accounting problem where you're doing like a subscription model. So now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep on every month doing the same thing until the subscription is up, right? So we would go, so I could go back into my customer balance detail will imagine no customer center will imagine another month has passed and so i'm going to say okay that's what i'll say that's what i'll say okay and then let's go in here and i'm going to make another invoice from this but i'm going to make it from just the invoice for selected items okay and so the first one's unchecked because i already did that one so now i'm just going to uncheck the rest of them i just want the second the next month and i'll say okay Boom. That's what I say. Okay. I say, okay. A lot. I say, I'm going to say, okay. And then I do it. Cause when I say I'm going to do something, then I do it. Okay. And I said, I was going to say, okay. And so, okay. That's what I've done. I keep my word. Okay. So there we have it. So then this is going to be doing the same thing. The invoice is going to increase accounts receivable, which has a negative balance in the sub ledger for this customer. And it's going to uh, do that for 37.71, including the sales tax. The other side's going to go to revenue for 35, and then sales tax payable is going to go up. If I see that with a journal entry this way, it would be month invoice month number two. Let's see if I can do this better this time. Don't mess it up this time like you did last time. Confused everyone. So that's why I get to do it a few times, so that like since I can see it's going to be exactly the same, right? Uh, I messed people up last time, but this time I'll do it right. Accounts receivable. Let's go up here, double click on it, go to the end of it plus, and there's the 37. So AR is going down, still negative, but you can see what's happening here. So it's still not exactly proper, but easy to follow, which is a good thing. Follow followability is something I look for in accounting systems and uh and stuff being able to like follow along and understand what in the world is happening around here let me get this straight let me get this straight i like to get things straight because i'm going to save and close i deal with a lot of handwritten records and they have crooked t accounts and crooked ledgers and so what i do is i put them into quickbooks so i can get the records straight so resulting in records that are really just a pure delight to interact with. Why? Because I because I put the record straight. Well, QuickBooks helped a little bit, but I put the record straight. So what was I doing here? Uh, I'm going to now. I've recorded that, so let's go to the balance sheet, and then let's go into the accounts receivable. And so there's this one. So there's the 37. You can see the pattern. The other side's going into revenue. So if I go into the revenue side of things, so now see I'm recognizing it uh, each month out on the revenue. If I go into my customer balance detail report, then you can see the e invoice pattern. So again, it's not correct because it, it should be a liability, but quite easy to follow, you can see.
So then I can, let's do one more. Uno vase mas one more time. Puff, por favor, please. And then we're going to say, since you said the magic word, we'll do it again. Invoice one more time. Create the invoice. Okay. Okay, you didn't say the, ma I said the magic word, but I heard the magic word, so...